Okay, so we have here a prototype of the Beam Sphere with the latest firmware on it, and I will show you a few things that you can do with it. I'll be controlling a few infrared devices and an RF controlled lamp. Onkyo Power. Oops, gotta use my amulet. Onkyo Power. Honeywell on. Honeywell off. Turn the RF lamp on. Turn the RF lamp off. So the beam is displaying a flashing green light every time we send it, send out an IR or an RF signal with it. But we can turn that off by enabling what we're calling stealth mode. Enable stealth mode. Samsung volume up to. Disable stealth mode. Samsung volume down three. And we have uh, RGB mood light capabilities. Turn beam blue. Turn beam red. Turn beam pink. Turn beam green. Turn beam cyan. Turn beam off. Okay, so we've been um, sending out signals using IR and RF, and obviously to do that we had to learn the signals first. Um, you can learn various protocol signals, but also raw codes for IR, and um, you can also use IR and RF as events that get sent to Vox Commando. So I'll demonstrate that. Display beam events. So I'm just going to uh, start with uh, the RF remote, uh, one of my RF remotes here. So that's showing the protocol on the bit length. And if I press another button, well, there'll be a different number. That's for my Intermatic RF switch. And then I have uh, the West Tech switch, which is the one that controls the light. So the RF uh, events are not 100% reliable yet. I think it depends on range. But that's working. And then I have a few different infrared remotes here. So uh, this is a media center remote. So that's giving you the protocol is the RC6 protocol. So a bunch of different buttons on this. You'll see it has various different codes for the media center remote. Scepter TV, which uses Sony codes. And these work, by the way, from, from pretty far uh, away to um, the IR codes. I think you can, you can point it from dinner. 10 or more feet away, and those work. This is a Westinghouse TV that uses NEC protocol. Uh, this is the remote from Samsung TV, which I was demonstrating earlier. So that's how we learn those nice short codes for anything that has a recognizable protocol. Here's my Onkyo, which I think is also NEC. And finally, for the fan, I thought I would show you that this does not, the Honeywell fan does not conform to any standard protocol. So what we can do is use raw codes. And we have a web page that lets you learn raw codes. Here what I'll do is I'll learn the code for fan speed. And I'll just turn the fan on. And when I send the IR code that we just learned, it should uh, adjust the fan speed, which will also light up here. And we can learn the fan timer code. 
And when we send that, you'll see, I don't know if it'll show on the video, but you'll see the numbers lighting up there for one hour, two hour timer, four hour timer, etc. So that's it for the demo. I hope to have more stuff to show you and uh, follow up with some tutorials as well to get you uh, started and able to do all this stuff yourself. Thanks for watching.